this video, we will be reviewing Flip Top Vuelta Balentong 10, Manda Baliu versus Patang Rebelde. Let's go. This is going to be a non-stop uh, laughter for sure. Minuto to, lima ang hurado natin, non-tournament battle. Vuelta Balentong 10, unang banat pahinga natin, Patang Rebelde. Game? May nagtawag ng All Gods. <laughs> Kaya may lumabas na old guy na may old style at ugly face na ang sarap ipa laminate para meron akong panakot sa mga daga dun sa aming place kapag holiday sa mga call time ikaw ay laging late yan ang aking hate pag ako nag-assassinate nuclear bomb damay buong barangay simulan nyo na mag-evacuate I am great mga bar sobrang heavy parang may added weight sobrang pogi kagabi si Ann Curtis ang aking date pare wait Di ako sanay mag-multi ng ganong kahaba, kaya kailangan ko ng water break! Nagustuhan nyo ba yung line-up? Di ba, napakaswabe? Pero Arik, bibigyan kita ng tip pare. Huwag mong ibibigay si Lip kay Sir Deo, kundi may may laplapan na namang mangyayari. Pero balita ako, tattoo artist ka daw. Kaso yung tinta mo malabo, kaya sablay ka gumawa. Huling tinatuan mo ng portrait ng baby, Ilang buwan lang lumipas yung baby, tumanda. At speaking of baby, ganito ay tsura ng baby kapag hindi minahal ng magulang. Kasi real talk, yung mama mo, yung hatred niya sa'yo masyadong advance. Mm -hmm. Biruin mo, excited siyang ipagbuntis ka para lang maipalaglag ka kaagad. Kasi yung mama mo, aswang, manananggal, nakilalang pokpok sa inyong syudad. Manananggal, pokpok, ano tawag doon? Kalahating mababa ang lipad. <laughs> Pero seryoso, laban nito kay F, laban nito sa FRBL kay Jans, nagribat siya ang sabi niya. Kaya ako ninakaw yung saging kasi ikaw yung nagutos. Laban niya kay Gameboy, nagribat din siya at ang sabi niya, ibabalik ko yung hot sauce. Kaya ako yung ninakaw kasi ikaw yung nagutos. Wow! Nag-recycle ng rebat para lang makapuntos itong bobong rapper na sa pagkopya lang talented. O bakit? Yung mga ninakaw na linya mo, utos din ba yun ni Jonas sa Tryan Rems? O ano hindi? Wala bang katotohanan tong mga paratang ko? Eh ultimo nga dati mong nakalaban, puta, ninanakawan nyo. Ninanakawan mo. Laban nito, FRBL One Up Tournament. Kalaban mo si Enem. Ang sabi niya sa'yo, Ginustong magka-moves ng Donggalo, kaso mukha kang garapata. Ay, di. Mukha kang... Ano nga ulit yun? Nalimutan ko eh. <laughs> Ginustong magka-moves ng Donggalo, kaso mukha... Ano? Ginustong magka-moves ng Donggalo, kaso mukha kang garapata sa Ghetto Dogs. Yun. Mm -hmm. Tapos nung laban mo kay C9, ilang, ling, ilang taon na lumipas sa motos, ang sabi mo naman, ay nangad maging aso sa Ghetto Dogs, kaso di tinanggap kasi mukha kang garapata. Ang galing. Ano? Bistado sa akin tong fake MC. Ano yon? Di mo kinopya. Nagkataon lang. Ano tawag doon? Destiny? Ulul! Mas masahol ka pa sa mga hip-hop content creator pag nagbuo ka ng rounds at nag-speed kasi nagko-compile ka lang ng clips tapos aasta kang legit. Weak. Kaya pag may sinabi siyang rebatal, inulit niya lang yon. Pag may sinabi siyang magandang linya, kinupit niya lang yon. Di nyo napapansin? Matagal na kayong niloloko ng leching yan kasi yung binayaran yung ticket, brand new, pero material niya, puro nakaw at second hand. Mm. Hindi ka rapper, isa kang scammer. Ang sarap mong pektusan, pero magre-rebat siya at makikita natin kung gano'n siya naapektuhan. Tayo muna para at may ka natin. Angas mo ah. <laughs> Pinagbibintangan ako magnanata magnanakaw. Mali yung paratang mo, baka kasuhan kita. Alabang ko pala si Batang Rebelde, ang kantotero ng mga lola sa Cavite. Purmahan ay simple, pero galawan ay terrible. Wanted to sa lugar nila sa kasong pagnanakaw ng dahon ng sile. <laughs> Hindi ka ba nagsisise sa pinangalan mo sa sarili? Batang Rebelde, tangin ang pangalan niyan, pang sine. Akin... Aking napansin eh, parang title ng lumang pelikula ni Robin eh. Hoy bata, matanda ka na, obvious. Ako ang tunay na matanda pero mukha pa rin bata, Tom Cruise. 
Ilang taong ka na ba? 33 ka na, Maji. Sa katanong ko lang, meron bang rebelde na yung gupit laging 2 by 3? One-liner laban sa mahaba mag-setup. Ang manalo ka, hindi pwede. Yung setup ko, mabilisan lang, malaambo sa rebelde. Parang ito yung nakita mo sa balita. Brutal kang papatayin. Nakasuot ka man ng bulletproof sa ulo kita babarilin. Ito pala si Marvin. Ang hip-hop na dolphin. Gangster na walang gang. So, para ka palang hitman na walang gun. Kidnapper na walang van. Sikat na walang fan. Buntis na walang tiyan. Isa kang matalinong walang alam. Nung, nakalaang, nung nakaraang eleksyon, binoto niya yung picos machine. <laughs> Hindi na ngayon, sir. Ngayong eleksyon, ang iboboto niya naman yung pick, sir. Gumawa to ng jingle. Tang ina, nagbabars pa. Gu gumawa din to ng gospel song, puta may mura. Kaya ako tinanggap yung hamon na to kasi yung isang joker na nakalaban mo, sumikat, umaman. Baka maging ganun din ako. Malay mo, nasa iyo ang swerte na parang duwende. Baka sakali lang mapagbuksan ng pinto kasi yung lock pala na kay rebelde. Halos lahat ng nakalaban mo, sumikat. Ikaw, umabang. Halos lahat ng nakalaban mo, nagkaroon. Ikaw, wala lang. Halata naman na naiingit ka sa mga kasabayan mo kasi yung karir nila mas naging better sa'yo. Itong napag-iiwan ng veterano, napaghahalata ang veterano. Mm. Woo! Wala ka nang ang view sa iba't ibang liga, nag-blackout ka pa men. E di mas lalong dumilim ang iyong paningin. Palipat-lipat ka ng liga kung saan-saan ka napupunta. Palaboy ka ba? Itong rebelding NPA, hala. No permanent address pala. Tas yayabangan mo ko, di naman ako nagyayabang sa'yo. Nako, di ko nga pinagyayabang na undefeated ako. Nasasabihin mo, si Manda, puro lang patawa. Lagi na lang ganun. Estilo ko galing pa sa lumang panahon. Ano bang mali doon? Baggos kung hindi nyo natatanong. Binabalik ko lang ngayon yung komedyang nagpasaya sa inyo noon. Alright, alright, alright. Those are both solid, solid, solid rounds for each. Okay, so Batang the bed this hit it off, man. Uh, on his first round, he, he has some solid um, angles, I would say. Angles, yeah. Here is some selfie bars, like selfie bars, uh, tattoo artist, uh, personals, and mama down in uh, the who's this? Only Manda and then jokes and bar stealing. Right? He he is accusing the uh, Manda Belio of stealing jokes and punchlines from other artists. So there's there's only one. I don't I, I don't know. I, I don't know with you. I know some of you guys have more on your list. Na nagustuhan yung lines from Batang the Bells BRs round one. Some of you might have more. Some of you might have less. But to me personally, there's through one line that I love from that entire round from um, BR, and that's a uh, portrait ng baby ilang buwan lang lumipas yung baby tumanda. Yeah, uh, that, that's the only thing uh, that, that to me, uh, you know, landed. I don't know, um, BR is, is starting slow here. Though, I love how he opened it up, right? You know, his round he opened up with speed rap and multi. That was really good. You know, it was really solid. But uh, comparing the rounds, um, I, I think BR is still, you know, getting into his rhythm, getting into his momentum, right? Or maybe this is the 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 most loony, as loony would say, yung pinaka, ano, um, crunch na, na round. Diba? Kasi when they, they're making that, hindi naman isang setting lang, tas nasulat mo lahat. Maybe this is the, the weakest round na nakita ni BR na I think this is my weakest round na nabo, so let me put it in my first round. It could be the case, right? It could be the case. Maybe we don't know what's going on with these people's lives behind the 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 scene. So maybe uh, when he was making or creating this round, he really don't have much time and all that, so he, he just put it on his first round. Now let's go on uh, Manda's first round. 
uh, Monday's first round angles and rebuttals, yung name choice, yung style difference, Batang Rebelde's progress. Now, I have eight lines that I like from Manda's uh, first round. That's uh, number one, yung Batang Rebelde. Sangin ang pangalan yan, pang sine. That's, that's really funny because those are the, the 90s. The, Batang Rebelde sounds like a 90s action film uh, a filipino action film in the 90s it really does so to me it's nostalgic it, it lands so smoothly to me number two so tanong ko lang meron bang rebelde na yung gupit lagi stupid <laughs> funny <laughs> that's an oxymoron that's very ironic right that's very contradicting because they better bending out so it's anarchy it's opposing it should be something that is um counterpart right an opposite of what you know uh a decent or whatever simply when how, how he presented it kasi yung rebelde na tinutukoy niya dito is yung rebelde na grupo yung mga npas yung mga yung mga tago sa bundok and all that and what he means by two by three is yung gupit yan ng mga diba, police officers ng mga armed forces right ng mga ng, ng mga ano mga sundalo kapulisan you know marines and all that so yun yung yun yung hugot niya dun sa joke na yun eh di ba lang rebelde kasi nor- normally naman di ba e- even in the movies especially the 90s movies rebeldes are always portrayed na long hair may bandana like a uh, beard and all that they they really looks opposite of what decent um a uh, 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 servant or soldier is so that that is so funny to me and i like this line this is not a, a punch line though but this is a line to me, that will determine whether Manda is going to win this, this not only the round, this battle or not. This line, I know this just slips over your head, but I think this is a, a good setup of Manda prepping everybody watching of what we should be expecting. Kasi ito yung pang style breakdown niya. Yung one-liner na, sabi niya, one-liner laban sa mahabang mag-setup. Because yes, that's what I mean, if you're going to make a summary of what their style is, yes, that that boils down to to that. I mean, it's it's a perfect uh, reflection or a per- perfect uh, description of their their style. Br has always been, you know, um, known for for having a so long of a setup. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, right? But you know, that's what everybody notices of him. While Manda is known for like punchlines after punchlines after punchlines, one liners. All right. Though the difference is this. Okay. Let me just let me just uh, give a, a, a difference or style difference between the two. Okay. Kasi sabihin niyo naman like, ay sa talo na kagad si Br. Kasi mahaba siya magsayap. Pangit ba yun? No. The, there's simply context on that. Si Manda, he's one liner when he throws his his, his bars or your, his punchlines or his jokes but most of the time if you look at it it's generic right so you can use it against anyone else kahit yung yung mga jokes niya most of the time is really generic not all of it all right not all of it but most of the time right some most of it so go to mga 80 or 60 percent 60 percent i would say not 80 no 60 percent of his jokes talagang ano medyo ano siya um generic but yung kay BR kasi mahaba siya magsetup but may may explanations kasi siya kung bakit kumbaga napapaliwanag niya ng malinaw and very specific doon sa tao niya na binabata so that's the there should be context to that and gusto ko rin yung sinabi ni Amanda na gumawa gumawa to ng jingle sabi niya tang ina nagbabars pa right so yan kagaya ng lines and it's really funny right but you can use that against anyone else, right? Yun yung sinasabi ko na it's a little generic kasi pwede mong gamitin niya kahit kanina, kahit sinong kabattle niya. Pa pwede naman eh. Though maganda yung setup na to because this is coming from the jokes na sabi niya, yung election jokes. Yung binoto niya, Picos Masin, just like that, it could be used against anyone else. Pero maganda yung setup na yun tapos pumunta dito sa 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 jokes na to. And then sinundan pa ni Manda ng gumawa din dito ng gospel song, Puta May Mura, doubling down on the joke with the puta you know kasi sabi niya gumawa ito lang gospel song puta may mura pero siya yung una nagmura tas may mura you know say so double so it's doubling down on the joke all right it's it's really nice 
smart din talaga to si Manda. Very smart on uh, how creative he is when he's constructing those constructing those those jokes. So yeah, but yan and, and then sabi niya, "Mali mo sa ang sabi niya. Mali mo na sa ang swerte, parang duwende, baka sakali lang mapagbuksan ng pinto kasi yung lock pala na kay Rebelde. This one is coming from the senior reference joke, right? Yung sabi niya na Nakalaban daw, huling nakalaban daw ni Batang Rebelde na Joker is yung mama na umasenso na, right? Nag-progress. Kasi ina-attacking niya nga dito yung progress ni Batang Rebelde na tagal-tagal mo na sa liga, you're still where you are. So this is coming from the senior reference, yung joke na to. But I like this because double meaning ito eh. Sabi niya, mali mo na sa'yo yung swerte, para kang duwende. This is a folklore belief, di ba? Dito sa Philippines. Baka sakaling mapagbuksan ng pinto kasi yung lock lock LC yung ano lock na kandado and lock na swerte pala na kay rebelde you see so yung malay mo uh, sabi niya ganon malay mo na sa iyo ang swerte at saka yung lock kasi parang duwende this is reference nga dun sa yung nakalaban daw ni batang rebelde si si Sinyo, yung aman o masenso si Sinyo, baka sakali lang mapagbuksan ng pinto yung opportunity, mabigyan mo ako ng opportunity na parang binigyan mo, binigay mo kay Sinyo, kasi yung lock pala na kay Rebelde, so it, it's some sort of sarcasm, this is a very smart and creative joke, kasi may sarcasm siya, meron siyang, meron, meron siyang um, yung wordplay, yung reference niya, yung setup, is is really good kasi nga sabi niya, baka sakaling mapagbigyan mo ng pinto, yung bigyan mo rin ako ng opportunity na binigay mo kay Sinyo na yumaman si Sinyo. It's sarcastic kasi during that battle, syempre, Sinyo naman talaga yung, is yung heavyweight, hindi <laughs> naman si Batang Rebelde. Pero pinipresent dito ni Manda na, hindi, ikaw ang dahilan kung bakit, ano, <laughs> ikaw ang dahilan kung bakit umasenso si Sinyo. So sabi niya, pagbuksan mo ako ng pinto kasi yung luck o yung swerte, pala na kay Rebelde. So that's really a good ano, no? creative jokes and punchline. And uh, uh, amazing yan. Amazing. And ito, sabi niya, pampito, itong nang, nag, i, i, na, napag-iwan ng veterano na paghahalat ang bitter, ano? Uh, so magandang wordplay ng veterano at saka yung bitter, ano? So biniyak niya yung, yung pronunciation, yung word ng veterano at saka bitter, ano? Better. In slant rhyme niya lang ng konting-konti yung isa ay. Better, ano? So that's really nice also. Tapos sabi niya, tas nagyayabangan mo ko, hindi naman ako nagyayabang sa'yo. Nako, hindi ko nga pinagyayabang na undefeated ako. So this is really nice na, ano, sarcastic joke. It's very sarcastic. And, uh, but but it lands, no? It lands very well. So to me, um, the delivery is very flawless, no? Very playful. Yung kay Manda, yung changing niya ng voice, yung kanyang mga, yung showmanship niya, di ba? Yung mga actions niya, yung moves niya, and all that. It's really, um, it's really well packaged. So, I'm gonna have to give Manda this round, first round. So, let's go listen. Second round. Let's listen from uh, Batang Rebelde. Batang Rebelde, I think he's just picking up steam. I, I, I believe that second, third round, he's gonna go out solid. <laughs> Yo, sa mga sinabi mo, hindi ako natakot. Kaya ako binoto yung Picos machine kasi at least hindi yun marunong mangurakot. Mm. Pero sa tagal ko dito, nasaksihan ko na iba't ibang uri ng pagkulata. Kaya anumang meta, punyeta, imposibleng ako ay mauga pa. Kasi kada ikot ng rounds, I will adapt sa yung mga atake. Divine General Mahuraga. At ang tunay na pangalan niya, Nico. Kapag nasa stage, baliw. Nico, baliw. Good! Hindi, wag na natin Huwag na natin pag-usapan Basta sobrang weirdo ng iyong trip Yang asta mong ikaw ang pinakamagaling sa liga Iho ang toxic Feeling MVP tong Joker Hoy, di kasi Nikola Jokic Feeling Joker Kaya pala siya daw yung bagong seniorito Mukha kang ang alipin sa gigilid Kapag nilegit check ka ng real jokes, di uubra mga hirit mo doon. Kung sa bagay, ganyan nga pala mga baliw, madalas nag-iilusyon. Yung balat mo parang sunog na goma. Yung kulay mo karimari-marim. Kapag nakipagsuntukan ako sa'yo, ang tawag doon, shadow boxing. 
Kasi mas dark ka pa sa aura ni Lil Strokes na may kanting presence din ni Saito. Kung si Shernan pinapaputi ng Diyos, eto naman may reverse betelaigo. <laughs> Kaya anong pinagbubuntis ka ng mama mo, na manananggal, <laughs> lahat ng kadiliman sa mundo sa sinapupunan niya na ipon. Kaya anong ginendi reveal ka, puta kulay black yung ribbon. <laughs> Pero magre-rebat yan. Uulitin niya na naman yung, kaya ako may team kasi ako ay proud Pinoy. Pukin ang ina mo. <laughs> Pinoy may team? Isipin niyo nga si Emilio Aguinaldo, egoy. <laughs> o kaya si Jose Rizal, niga. <laughs> Di ba? Mababago yung kasaysayan dahil sa katangahan nito. Yung mga miyembro ng katipunan magiging katipunegro. <laughs> Ano, nakaka-open ba masyado yung mga rap ko, utol? Ikaw tong maitim na komedyante pero wala kang dark humor. Anak ka ni Bentong kay Whitney Tyson! Mapangahas pero walang taglay na kamandag. Python, mas overrated ka pa sa presyo ng iPhone. Yung rounds mo, puro lang hangin. Cyclone, kung puro ka jokes, wala kang maaabot. Hindi ka rin pwedeng maging icon kapag nakabato at tamang lakad ka ng ilang milyadong ka lang nakakahit ng milestone. Pero na, sige na. Ikaw na, crowd favorite. Minahal ka nila kasi naa-attract sila sa yung kenkoy na appearance. Pero kung tingin mo sa patyan, nagkakamali ka. Patunay yung laban ni Bagsik kanina na hindi lahat madadaan sa karisma. Yo! Tang ina! Yo! Yo! Hindi daw Pilipino ang mga negro. So, hindi pala Pilipino si Saito. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Magaling daw itong mag-basketball. Wow, ha? Nakakatuwa. Yung laro, hindi pa nagsisimula. Pero si Marvin, nakadepensa na yung muka. Magaling daw itong mag-basketball. Yes, it is true. Yung galawa niya, kangkarot. Yung muka, kangaroo. Nung nakita ko laro nito, ako'y napa- oh shit! Yung galawan niya, malaluka. Luka bow chick. <laughs> Basketbolista nga, adik. Lakas ng tama mo, sir. Pag nakakasalubong mo to sa daan, biglang nagko-cross over. <laughs> Meron sa akin nakapagsabi, bully ka daw dati. Nung nag-aaral ka, lagi kang nag-guidance kasi mabagra ka daw, pare. Nagpipigil ka ng tae. <laughs> Tapos uutot ka at ipapaamoy mo sa katabi mong babae. Kaya ayaw ka nang isama pag may outing at swimming ang klase kasi umiihi ka sa swimming pool tas hindi mo sinasabi. Sa pagre-rebelde mo, nawalan ka na ng kaibigan. Kasi lahat ng friends mo, hinahamon mo ng barilan. Kaya nung nag-aaral ka, wala kang ganong barkada. Kasi sa tuwing papasok ka ng school, lagi kang may baong granada. Pinupo na po pagkabaliw ko, mas baliw ka, fre. Piruin mo ah, may mga bagay kang pinaglalaban na wala kang mimpake. Wala daw masama sa pagre-rebelde kung gusto mo yung ginagawa mo. So, pwede ko palang suwayin utos ng nanay ko kasi tinatamad ako. So, pag tumaay ako at ayoko magbuhos, pwede pala ako magutos. Pag wala akong pagkain, yung ulam mo, pwede ko agawin. Pwede pala akong magnakaw pag wala akong pera. Ganyan ang utak ng rebelde. Kaya nagkakakera. Galit na ako. Galit na ako, pasensya. Yung kabubuhan mo kasi, di maipaliwanag ng siyensya. Yan ang resulta ng madalas mong pag-absent sa eskwela, pinag-aaral ka, pero mas pinili mong manood ng Cinderella. <laughs> Papatayin kita gamit, simpleng letra, mawawalan ng beat puso mo na parang akapela. Nung nagtawag ng old god si GL, hindi ka kasama. Grow up, bata, munting paalala, itong pinapagalita kong bata, sana magtanda na. Nanatili kang rebelde kasi, galit ka sa iyong ama. Nanatili kang rebelde kasi, pasaway ka sa iyong ina. Ayaw mong makinig sa opinion ng iba na natili kang rebelde kasi kala mo kaya mo lahat mag-isa na natili kang rebelde kasi ikay tanga. <laughs> Ka!
kahit veterano, di ko gagalangin ito. Burado sa akin pagka-rebelde mo. Bata na lang tingin namin sa'yo. Alright, alright, alright. Kaya lang yan. This is, a, this is a better round for both, I would say. Okay, let's go with Tatang Develo second round. All right. So, so um, uh, it, it's obvious naman to everyone that Tatang Develo second round is uh, way better than his first. I, I just, just as I mentioned, he is really just picking up steam, and I think now he is really getting into his groove. No, in showmanship, yeah, is really there now. Meron na out of box and right so he's really getting uncomfortable in his rounds maybe i think he, he's some somehow like forgetting his round i don't know this is just my my uh my uh assumption i feel as if because there is a little bit of you know shakiness in his delivery you know i don't know but again hula this is just not all my assumptions maybe that's the reason all right let's go on to his second round angles Man, he, he did a rebuttal. He did a Manda's uh, current stand in the flipped out thing, uh, a little bit of style uh, breakdown, and then he, he doubled down on skin color. Now let's go on to his lines that I like. I know some of y'all might have more, and some of y'all might have less. These are the lines that, to me, I kind of landed. You know, No, 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 no. These are the li lines that landed for me. Earned points. Number one, sabi niya, Kasi kada ikot ng rounds, I will adapt sa yung mga atake, Divine General, Mahurage, ah, Mahuraga. I think this is a Jujutsu Kaisen reference, right? Because of the power, yung adapt. Um, who's this? Uh, Divine General Mahuraga has the ability to adapt into any situation, to any attack. So, yeah. But, of course, to me, it landed. Again, just as I have said earlier, to me, it landed. Some of you this might some, I mean, a uh, line that just blew over your head because you're not into animes and all that. I do not know the entirety of, like, the Jujutsu Kaisen thing, but I, I I am familiar with this character. Yeah, so it landed a point. I believe it, this did, did not uh, get any reaction from the crowd, unless you're really into anime. Yeah. Your Poison 13, m and all that, for sure, they, they, they will get this, right? Number two is yung ang tunay na pangalan niya ay Nico kapag nasa stage baliw. Nico baliw. Good. So man, th this is to me, this is sobrang gandang double and tandra. Because you know, we all know Akata's history had flipped up. He started as Nico and he went to stage now Akata which, you know, uh, portrays a character, quote-unquote Joker, Seth freaking Rollins, the visionary, baliw, some kind and it's a good uh, rebuttal to, to the Sinyo attack from Manda. Diba? Sinyo ba siya ng, ng somehow about Sinyo. Now, binalik naman niya in this, in this form. So, I like this. In Nico, Baliw, good. I mean, there's just so much story and history. And every one of us get it. it it's not an inside joke. This is like, oh, uh, and to, to, to say... Man, Nico or Akata right now, it's not one of the, if not the, hottest MCs out there. Hottest, man. PSP um, and all other leagues are really, you know, trying to get this guy on, on stage. And, and they always call this guy out because of, you know, the market that he brings. He is a draw, you know what I'm saying? He's a draw. And number three, sabi ni, uh, ni Batang Rebelde, yung Asta... Yung asta mong pinakamagaling sa liga, iho ang toxic, feeling MVP tong joker, hoy hindi kasi Nicola Jokic. This is a double meaning. Uh, obviously, if you're not a basketball fan, you won't get it. But if you're a basketball uh, fan, you know that, you know, um, Nicola Jokic uh, is now uh, in the conversation of one of the best centers of all. This is really a hard highly argued right now because Nikola Jokic won back-to-back -back, uh, MVP and he was on his way to win his third and then Joel Embiid I believe won that and everybody was like on the edge of their seat and saying like if he wins this third MVP this is just a little bit of history okay kung bakit ginamit ni Batang Rebelde yung MVP na, na word dun sa Nikola Jokic na punchline kasi 
um, ev- everybody, I, I believe I, I, I saw this on um, Boogie Cousins and uh, Kevin Garnett and Kenyon Martin and uh, who else? Uh, the Truth, uh, Paul Pierce and all the other, you know, veteran sports talking about, even Shaq and Chuck talking about if if Nikola Jokic won his third MVP, man, he is definitely in the in the conversation of the greatest of all time as a basketball center. Because I believe Shaq only has one league MVP. One. And Nikola Jokic won back to back and he was on his way to win this third. And everybody was like, are we really are we really going to put him at, at the top tier like of all time? Because you cannot deny Nikola Jokic if when or if he have won that third MVP. Right? Because like He's now like a champion, finals MVP, three of uh, seasons MVP. If if so, that happened. So if, this was a highly debated uh, uh, thing. And na connect ni ni Bata Rebelde to na somehow kasi nga yung first round ni Manda kaya siya mas lalong lumalim yung dating binanggit ni Manda yung ako nga. Ano, uh, what do you call it? Ako nga, uh, undefeated. Hindi ko naman pinagyayabang sa'yo. So, sabi niya dito, yung asa mong pinakamagaling sa liga, iho ang toxic. So, kung kokonek yon yung undefeated. Right? Kasi, sino na lang ba yung mga undefeated sa flip up? I, I don't know all the names, but I believe Price Tag is undefeated, but he's not battling anymore. Sino na lang ba? Put it in the comment section. Sino na lang yung mga undefeated sa, sa flip up? So, this this really makes sense. Itong line na to from Batang Rebelde. Especially after uh, spitting that from Manda Bale, yung, kung nga, hindi ko pinag-iayabang, ako undefeated. So, yeah. And yung Nico Layokic, Nico kasi nga, di ba, yung name down ni Manda is Nico. Yung Nico Layokic, so, ang ganda, sobrang creative na itong line na ito. Uh, kagaya nung, ano, yung Nico. Uh, Nico pangalan kapag nasa stage Bale, I, I like this back-to-back line sa Batang Rivelda. And then sabi niya, Feeling Joker, kaya pala siya yung bagong Senyorito. Senyorito. I believe this line comes from Senyo mismo. Itong line na to. A feeling Joker, of course, we all know that. Yan ang claim na title ni, ni Senyo. Yung joke. Sa ang, ano, pinakamagaling na Joker. Joker ng liga. And then Senyor, feeling Senyorito. Kasi nga, connected pa din sa feeling magaling siya yung pinakamagaling. Dahil nga undefeated si Man W. And then, um, Kung si Fernan pinapaputi ng Jose ko naman, reverse betalago. This, this term, no, isa to sa mga meta ngayon, ba yung reverse, reverse, ito reverse mocking, reverse ganito, reverse ganyan, now reverse betalago. So yeah, uh, at this at this um, <clears throat> current stage, at this current uh, wave, no, ng, uh, ng flip top or battle rap rather, <clears throat> it makes sense, itong reverse, bet, itong reverse betalago na, na, na bar. bar or itong punchline na to kasi nga excuse me itong reverse reverse na to is so part siya ng meta uh, itong season na to itong panahon na to and that's sabi nga kaya kaya nung pinagbubuntis ka ng mama mo this this right here it's not really that powerful okay but you can see the artist in Batang Rebelde as I explained itong sabi nga kaya nung pinagbubuntis ka ng mama mo namana ng gal you see why I'm king or threat. Oh, why is it funny? Why, why did you put it there? No, what, what makes this uh, line, you know, um, uh, stick to you and all that? Not not the line itself, but the character of the artist of Batang Rebelde on this one. Because uh, if you notice, ginamit na ni Batang Rebelde itong joke na to on his first round. Yung sabi niya, yung may mamung mananangal, pok-pok pala. Ang tawag doon, um, kalahating mababa ang lipat. Kalahati, manananggal, kalahating katawan, then pokpok, kalapating mababa lipat, so kalahating mababa ang liga, uh, lipat. But, if you notice and go back the first round, it did not really land well. Right? People were like, okay. That joke really didn't work out for him. That's where I'm getting at. Kasi nga, he's a little shaky. BR is a little shaky first round. But on this one, what makes this cut the list? Kasi sabi niya dito, kaya nung pinagbuntis ka ng mama mo, na manananggal, BR made a clap back at his own joke on the first round that didn't land. Which makes it funny because 
he is so aware and he's not full of himself that he has no problem making fun of himself. You know what I'm saying? He has no problem. Alam niya sa sarili niya na, okay, that joke really didn't land. <laughs> People didn't give me the reaction I was expecting. For for the crowd, it wasn't funny. So, ano ginawa niya? He was able to, 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 to hindi recycle it. Parang, anong, alam mo yung, ano yung, what do you call this? Yung rice, yung fried rice? Ano yung fried rice? Sinangag. Sinangag niya ulit yung rice. Yung rice na di nag-work or yung punch na di nag-work, sinangag niya, pinresent niya. In other words, ang ginawa niya ng katatawanan, yung, yung point na, yung joke, hindi nakakatawa. Kaya yung mga tao nung sinabi niya to, natawa kasi I believe na yung, yung, yung part na, kaya yung pinagbubuntis ka ng mamo, naman na nanggal. See, I, I really believe in my my heart na yung yung word na naman nanggal. Sinundot niya lang, siningit niya lang, in-squeeze niya lang, hindi talaga yung part nung bara for the second round. Inano niya lang, sige nga, sundot kay tingit ko nga ulit dito, baka mag-work. Alam mo yun, yung hindi baka mag-work, he knows na I will make it funny kasi hindi siya funny. Yung pa, clap back. Alam mo yun, di ba pag may nag-joke ka na friend tapos hindi nakakatawa yung joke, gagawin mong katatawanan kasi hindi nakakatawa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nga, people, that's, he did that to himself. So, he, he, his stage presence and his awareness and his ego is not really, is not really with him on this, ano, ha? On this battle. Why? Because he's okay to make fun of himself, na? <laughs> Yung joke ko, hindi nagland. Kaya, I really believe na ang galing ng pagiging artist ni B.R. doon na, na isingit niya yun, na, na manananggal, siningit pa niya yun kasi alam niya hindi nag, na, natawa dun sa totoong linya para dun sa punchline na yun na manananggal. So, ginawa niya, parang ginisa niya ulit. Like, what do you call it? Basta, finride, sinangag niya ulit yung produkto and that that way, napansin ng mga tao unconsciously na, ah, yan yung joke kanina, hindi nag-work ka. Kaya, mas naging nakakatawa. So, it's not really, you know, the, these, these kind of things, is it's not really, you cannot really count it as like, I that's a bar. Oh, that's a joke. But, it it represents more of the the ability of the the artist. The artist that na nag-perform. And props to, to BR on that. I love that. So, another one yung sabi niya, no, kaya nung gender reveal ka, kulay black yung ribbon. It's not really that, I know, let me know. I don't know if this is original or what not, but it it it's it's funny to me. It's funny to me. That was it, it's my it's my first time hearing that. And sabi niya, ano nakaka offend ba yung mga jokes ko utol? Ikaw tong maitem ah uh, maitim pero wala kang dark humor. So dark humor is it's uh it's uh making fun of something that is like somehow morbid, you know, taboo or sufferings, sufferings. Yung mga pilay, ginagawa mong ano, katatawanan, o yung pagkamatay ng isang ganito, ginagawa mong katatawanan, yung kapansanan ng ganito, ginagawa mong katatawanan, yung narape, ginagawa mong joke, or you know, su- su- anything that falls under the umbrella of suffering, dark humor. And this is, ano ha, hindi siya, double meaning siya. Kasi yung ikaw tong maitim, wala kang dark humor. Maitim kasi, This is the no, eh, diba? yung pinaka angle na binabada ni BR on the second round against Manda Maitim. And if you look at Manda Balio's uh style in jokes niya, yeah. There I don't, I, I I am not very sure if I have heard Manda Balio, you know, having a dark humor or yung jokes na coming from a dark place. I have not. So this really makes sense. This really makes sense. This is a better first round. I, I mean better round for BR than the second round. So yeah. I I really like yung how he closed it, yung multi at the end, man. So this I would say is a better better round than the first round. There's so many points on on this to me. Lalo na yung sa senior, ah, yung yung sa yung Nicola Jokic, yung kay Nico, and then yung dark humor. Because yeah, that that really straight to the point. If if you're not really sharp and kin, and if you're not really a fan of Man W. At hindi mo siya pinag-aralan talaga, you would not notice that. Pero obviously, si Batang Rebelde pinag-aralan niya, may si, si Manda for him to be able to say that. Now, let's go Amanda Belis, uh, Amanda's uh, second round. Showmanship is still there. That, that's one of his, you know, um, um mesmerizing technique. Huh? One of his uh, styles talaga that he is known for. Yung maglalapas ng T-Rex and all that. Yeah, showmanship is there. 
Engels, may rebuttal siya, yung basketball, meron siya yung schooling days, nag aaral pa daw si Rebelde, <coughs> si Batang si si Batang Rebelde and yung term o yung word na rebelde and a little bit of a uh, uh, you know, self selfie bark here and there. Now, ito naman yung mga lines that I like from Manda Bleo in the second round. So, number one is, yung galawan niya, malaluka, luka bogchik. You know, it's a good comeback for the Nikola Yoki line. So, I like it. Luka, luka bogchik. Yung busog palagi na mataba and all that. So, and it's a good comeback line, diba? Dun sa, sa Nikola Yoki line naman ni BR. So, I like that. Number two is yung Mawalan ng beat puso mo na parang acapella. Na that's very straightforward. Gets natin lahat yun. I like that. And yung grow up bata, munting paalala. Itong pina, pinapagalitan kong bata, sana magtanda na. I like it because double meaning yun. No? Yung bata, name ni batang rebelde. And yung word na munting. Diba? Most of the time, we only use that when we... we we try to relate something about, you know, mga babies, maliliit, toddlers, no, youngs, youngsters. So, munting, I like that too. And then, um, pinapagalitan kong bata, sana magtanda na. So, he, w- this is a, this is very creative then. Kasi, all throughout, pinapakita ni Manda na si Batang Rebelde is one of the vet, uh, vets, no, vet, uh, vets. Pero sinasabi niya na, I'm schooling you, binabata kita. I'm schooling you on this one. And that is also a good way kasi nga, one of the angles of man. I don't know if this is uh, on purpose, pero if it is, man, this is oh, this is amazing creativity and showmanship of, I mean, uh, showcase rather, sh- showcase of depth ng creativity or yung ng intelligence demand. Kasi di ba nagkaroon siya ng angle about schooling and this yung binabata, that's schooling eh. Yeah, I'm binabata ko lang yan. I'm, I'm schooling you, boy. Diba? We always hear that um, term from, especially from the Western world. Like, man, let me school this boy. Let me teach this boy. Let me let me teach this youngster. So yeah, and daming and daming ano don elements and daming layers don yung nung basal tam bata name ni bata rebelde yung binabata sa hindi siya veterano and yun nga yung tinuturo ang kita. I'm I'm schooling you. So wow, that's really really good. But there's just one thing though, okay? Na, I really want na, um, to dissect a little bit around demanda ng bars, eh, itong line niya na ito. Sabi niya, and correct me then, ha, put in the comment section if I understand it um, uh, the wrong way. Sabi niya, pinupun na mo pagkabaliw ko, mas baliw ka pre. Biruin mo ha, may mga bagay kang pinaglalaban na wala kaming pake. And this line, People, he, he got a reaction and people are like, yeah. But if you look at it and sit down and really think about it, it does not make sense. Yeah, I think what he he means, I think what Manda Baliw means is instead na wala kaming pake, what he's trying to say is walang kwenta or walang value. Kasi yung wala kaming pake na statement, it, it does not clearly reflect Ano ba yung bagay na yon or yung importance ng bagay na yon? Wala kaming pake saan? Wala kaming pake sa ano? Ano ba yung pinaglalaban ni BR na yon na sinasabi mong wala tayong pake at walang value, walang importance? Right? It does not say. Eh. Kasi uh, it, it 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 does not give or show the importance ng mga bagay na yon or its value. Halimbawa, uh, I'll give you uh, halimbawa, I just saw this on the news. Uh, yung issue about farmers' land, yung mga farmers natin, no, uh, sa Philippines, yung land nila, at saka yung mga abono and all the stuff that they needed sa farming, uh, they are, they are, they are, you know, asking for help from the government and all that. Halimbawa, yung issue about the farmers, yung land nila and support. Most of Filipinos, I'm not saying, and I'm not saying everyone, most of us, are us Filipinos, wala naman talaga tayong pake dun eh. Kasi hindi natin alam that they have issue, right? Not because we don't, not because we're evil, it's because we do not know. Kaya wala tayong pakialam, right? Now, with that, hindi natin kasi, so, we, we don't not, ah, paano ko sabihin, like, so, may mga bagay talaga na pinaglalaban yung ibang tao, yung mga kababayan natin, na wala tayong pake or wala yung ipake yung ibang tao. Right? Nagigets nyo? So, 
it does not make sense. Yung, kasi we don't truly understand the depth ng problem. Most of the time, we don't give care much about something that we don't truly understand. Number one, we don't know about it, right? Paano tayo magkakapakay sa mga bagay na hindi naman natin alam? Secondly, that when we don't truly understand the depth of that, whatever it is, we don't understand the value, we don't understand the importance, what, what it, uh, the effect of whatever that is. So we can't give care much of it, right? So wala tayong pake. Say, for example, Si, man, si Batang Rebelde, halimbawa lang to, he is struggling, halimbawa lang, he is struggling anxiety and depression. May mga bagay talaga na hindi natin siya maintindihan. Halimbawa lang, or someone is struggling depression or anxiety, hindi natin siya naiintindihan sa internal battles niya. So, wala tayo pa eh. Right? <laughs> hindi natin alam eh. Hindi natin... So, yeah, I think that line is a little shaky and a little, you know, it's a little cloudy. Kasi, sabi niya, uh, biruin mo ha, may mga bagay ka pinaglalaban na wala aming pake. Ano ba yung mga pinaglalaban na yun ni, ano mo, ni Batang Rebelde? Para maintindihan ko kung nakakatawa ba o hindi yung punto mo. Right? So, I'm not knocking off Manda Bali, okay? I'm, I'm just saying that that line to me is a little shaky and does not make sense. But, um, the, the delivery is still there. You know, the delivery of Manda is still there. The total performance is really there. You know, um, I would say it's more, uh, it's it's flawless talaga. Yung, yung kay, ano, kay Manda Baliw pa rin, flawless. Mm, but I have to give the second round to to Bat- BR, Batang Rebelo. So, 1-1 one, one sila for me. Only because, again, mas, uh, mas nagustuhan ko yung creativity nung tatlong bar ni BR, yung kay, yung kay Nico, yung Nicole Yoke, at saka yung Dark Humor. Mas nagustuhan ko siya compared dito sa tatlong na list down ko from Manda, yung Galawang Luka Bogchik, yung mawala ng beat ang puso mo, parang akapela, and yung Grow Up Bata. But I think that the strongest line in here, to me, for, personally, the strongest line of the second round is yung kay, yung kay referring kay Nico. Good! Ah, I like that. I, like, I really like that. So, yeah. Um, let's go third round and see who will take this one on on our end. All right, let's go. Kanino bang anino to? Galit na galit. Ingit ka lang sa basketball kasi ako sa iyo ay mas better. Sobrang galing ko at guwapo kasama ako sa first bite ni Kylie Jenner. Pero round 3 na. No okay. choice. Kailangan ko nang gamitin yung nakatago kong estilo dito. Ito'y minana ko pa sa aking mga ninuno na kung tawagin ay hipnotismo. Sundan mo lang to kaliwat kanan, sigurado makakaramdam ka ng pagkahilo, iho. At pagpitik ko sa aking daliri, sigurado bigla kang makakatulog dito mismo. Puta ako pala yung nakatulog eh, no? Ito'y reverse hypnotism. May pangontra si Barok. Yung round mo kasi sobrang boring, kaya ako yung inantok. At matanong kita, Bugok, sure ka ba na lalaki ka? Kasi kung ganun, sarap battle, kasi yung kabadingan mo bigla-biglang sumusumpong. Kasi kung totoong lalaki ka, nung battle mo kay Kayram, bakit mo siya hinamon ng sundutan ng tumbong? Sundutan ng tumbong? Yun na ba yung napili mo na pandagok? Yung hirit mo ay pambayot. Kay Ram, sundutan ng tumbong. Walang connect, kaya pilit na lang pinasok. Oh. At nung huling ahon, Royal Rumble, si Bagsik. Lakas kasi ng bars ko, nagkaka-technical tuloy eh. Technical problems, i-ano natin yan, troubleshoot. Royal Rumble, si Bagsik. Ginamit ka, ginawa kang alipin, katulong at alalay. Ginamit ka kang kasangkapan at sandatang pang salakay. Gawin kang, gawin kang sakripisyo, yun lamang ang kanyang pakay na kakalungkot na tinuring mo siyang kakampe, pero ginawa ka lang niyang alay. At speaking of bagsik, di ba para di na siya mang rape, tuturuan mo siyang mag-masturbate? <laughs> Diyan magaling ang idol nyo, kaya eksena sa araw, isang bahay sa araw nila, oh. Sobrang bored, wala magawa kayo at naghanap ka ng bold na makakalkal. Agad mo sinara ang pintuan pero di mo na malaya na yung asawa mo ay papasok par. Sobrang lakas ng paglagapak ang akala niya. May sinasampal at yung asawa mo ay nagulat ng binuksan ng pintuan dahil huling-huli ka niya na nagsasalsal. <laughs> pero bitin ba yung suntok? Yung four bar setup, walang wordplay na high class? Nahuli kasi ng misis kaya naudlot yung climax. 
Pero sa pagkakaibigan nyo ni Bagsik, ikaw yung bad influence sa kanya. Kasi real talk, may tinatakbuhan tong obligasyon. At kahit maging single mam yung babae, hindi sa kanya mahalaga. Hindi na para pangalanan kung sino yung nadisgrasya mo, tanga. Pero buntis yung aso ng kapitbahay nyo at ikaw ang ama. Wala kang awa, tarantado. Huling-huli ka daw sa akto, dinodog style mo yung aso. Pero sa relasyon, masyado din tong gago. Kasi yung misis mong si Jen, dati okay naman siya sa relasyon nyo eh. Kasi araw-araw mo binibigyan ng bulaklak, tsokolate, gabi-gabi mo pa akong haranahin. Ngayon, kinukulong mo sa kulungan ng aso. Hindi mo pa pinapakain. Nasasakal na siya sa relasyon nyo, magbuhat nung magbago ka ng gawain. Kaya ngayon, hindi na oxygen mula nung nagbago yung ihip ng hangin. Nagaya ba kay Bagsik? Fake na kwento yan. Yung angle ko, totoo. Yung sa kanya, imbento lang. Sa, sa kanya, imbento lang. Ano ba yung panghuli kong lang? Yan! Ganyan ang ginagawa niya. Ganyan ang ginagawa niya. Walang kwentang teknik par. Nandidistract kasi, Paul, dun lang siya nakaka-teknikal. Oh! Kita nyo? Kita nyo? Yung ginawa niyang physical, niribat ko ng lyrical. Ganun ako kagaling, brother. Para kang nag-shopping na ditinigyan yung presyo, kaya nagulat ka sa counter. Yeah! Game, 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 game. Putangin na mo, ha? Ribatan ba? Ha? Ribatan ba, pare? Nagsundutan, nagsundutan daw kami ng tumbong ni Kairam. Yun ang kanyang sinasabi. Nagagalit ka lang kasi hindi ka namin sinali. Ayan, tangin na mo ka. Dapat sa'yo hinahambalos. Nung pinuwitan ko yung aso, bakit ka nagsiselos? Yo! Lagi mong kinukumpara sarili mo sa mga NBA players, eh, ang tatangkat ng mga yon. Ikaw sa sobra mong leet, kaya mong mag-jumping rope gamit sintron. Kala mo, kayang sumipa ng mataas, maliit ka ng likas, mahaba ka nga mag-set up, ang ikli naman ng bias. Ang daming sinasabi na parang sinasapian. Pag ito nag-set up, para siya nagluto ng hapunan, tas natapos ng tanghalian. Kung sa paliwanagan lang, mas maikli, mas maayos. Kumbaga sa pera, mas maganda yung tipid kaysa magastos. Tapos, malambing pa sa ilonggo yung tono niya. Pag bumabanat, di mo malaman kung nagrarap ba o nagbabasa. Repin mo, low waist gang, low waist pero ang laki ng chan. Pwede ba ako dyan? Puro ka exercise yung katawan mo, di naman nagbabago. Yung pagjijim mo, masyado mong feel na feel. Gangsta na nagsusumba. Man, are you for real? <laughs> Nakita ko sa iyong reel Taglay niya ang mga dance moves Parang dancer ni Kuya Will Ang tunay na lalaki merong bilbil Alam ni Kuya Kebs ang totoo Malalaking ahas nakatago sa ilalim ng malaking bato Kaya wag mo akong inaano Kahit tanungin mo yung mga tao dito Mas sexy pa ako sa'yo huh? Ang ina mo, batang rebelde <laughs> Hindi ka naman healthy Biruin mo ha, gigising ka ng alasyeti para mag-jogging tas magbabaon ka ng spaghetti. Ang ina mo, weirdo, nag-uulam ka daw ng candy. Sabi mo sa'yo ang kaveti? Mayor ka dun, men. Para kasi Heb Abby, pati yung QC inangkin. Patay to sa akin. Gamit ang mga barang nakakagulat na parang si Titong umakyat sa kwarto ni Pamangkin. Sa mga joker, lagi kang game over. May galit ka sa Bisaya simula nung tinalo ka ni Ponger. <laughs> tinalo ka ng mga linyahan niyang Welcome to my place. Durugkat na panes, tapos tatlong buwan kang depress. <laughs> Yung nunal mong parang permanenteng kulangot, sabi ng nanay mo, swerte daw yan. Naniwala ka naman. Yayaman ka daw dyan na parang nanalo sa sugal. Kaya hindi ka na nagtrabaho, umasa na lang sa nunal. <laughs> Ayoko mamersonal, pero puro lang ito pagwapo. Babad sa games at hilata sa kwarto. Habang yung asawa niya, OFW, nagsisilbi sa mga mababahong Arabo. Ganyan ba yung dapat kabili ba na tao? Yung asawa yung pinagtatrabaho? Lopit. Kung di ka pa nagrebelde, wala ka pa pinaglalabas sa sarili. Para kang tanga ka. 
Mabuti sana kung makakatulong sa marami yung slogan mo, mas maganda pa. Akala ko pa naman yung pinaglalaban para sa bayan, pansarili lang pala. Verse batang rebelde. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so third round. Um, uh, man, showmanship and uh, the confidence of uh, of Bat Arben carried out in the second round. I think he he really is forgetting his lines. I think that's the reason why he's a little shaky from from the get go. Round one, but round two is way better. Round three is uh, somehow uh, shaky, but. Um, man, he carried it out very, very freaking well, man. So, angles, rebuttals, yung pagkalalaki ni, uh, ni Manda Bali was questioned, and yung personals, and uh, a little bit of, you know, uh, of uh, style breakdown. So, these are the lines that I like from BR's third round, okay? Number one is yung sabi niya, inggit ka, inggit ka lang sa basketball kasi, uh, uh, kasi sayo ako yung mas better. Sobrang galing ko. Oh, no, 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 no. This, this line pala is somehow of a question for me too. Parang, di ba, yung second round ni Manda, there was a line, yung pinupun na mo pagkabaliw ko, baliw ko ba plebriyin mo, may mga bagay kang pinaglalabay, wala kaming pake. It was a line at question. This is somehow of a line at question also coming from Batang Rebelde. But I think this is a little more just of a slip up because you know where he's trying to go and you know where he was try- uh, what he was trying to say sabi niya inggit ka lang sa basketball kasi sa iyo ako yung mas better sobrang galing at sobrang galing ko at guwapo kasama ako sa first five ni Kylie Jenner i think what he's trying to say is Kendall Jenner kasi <laughs> si Kylie is diba si Tyga yung ex si Travis Scott diba yun yung mga ex niya. i think Kendall Jenner is whom batang rebelde is referring to ang mga excess ni Batang Rebelde are um, Jordan Clarkson, Arka Babay, Ben Simmons, Devin Booker, Blake Griffin, um, Kyle Kuzma, Dillo, D'Angelo Russell, and Chandler Parsons. So those are seven. And, you know, sino kayo matatanggal doon kung kasama si BR sa, sa, ano, no? sa top five ni Kendall. Kendall is... So it's a little odd question kasi nga hindi siya nag-land kasi Kylie yung nasabi niya and stand up Kendall but we get what he's trying to say. All right. Number two is yung sundu- uh, sundutan ng tumbong. Yun na ba yung napili mong pan- pandagok? Yung hirit mo ay pambayot. Kiram sundutan ng tumbong. Walang kone kaya pinilit na lang pinasok. So that is very good, you know. Um, though it was a little, I don't know if it's just the way I read it. I don't know if it's just the way I said it. Pero mas smooth kasi nung deliver ni ni BR. But you know, this this is really nice, no? You can feel it na lang pinasok and that 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 we all get that. I don't have to be graphic. I don't have to describe what he's trying to say on that because we're talking about tumbong na. <laughs> so, I don't want to go, you know, very go graphic on having, you know, talking about tumbong. Lalo na kung tumbong ni Keram. We don't want to do that. All right, number three. Um, pero bitin ba yung suntok? Yung four-bar setup, walang wordplay na high class na huli kasi ng Mrs. Kea na udlot yung climax. Man, this is really nice because this came from the speed rap ni ni BR na yung punch la. Ang haba ng setup, ang ganda ng delivery, ang ganda nung, nung speed rap, nung multi ang ganda, tapos yung punchline lang, nagsasalsa, nahuling nagsasalsa. So parang, masyadong magandang setup, yung wordplay, yung, ay, yung multi, sa so, yung delivery, para dun lang sa punchline na yun. Yet, yung totoo palang punchline is yung sundot na na line. Pero bitin ba yung suntok? Kasi, di ba, parang isipin mo kung, like, yun na yun, like, ang ganda ng setup, ang ganda ng wordplay, ang ganda ng multi, tapos salsa lang yung punchline, tapos nasundutan niya ng, pero bitin ba yung suntok? Yung four-bar setup, walang wordplay na high class, na huli ng misis, kaya na udlot yung climax. There was the explanation, it was perfect, double meaning yung climax, na climax, and climax, na hindi masyado nakapagsulat ng maigi, kasi nga, nabitin. That's very nice. Kaya, uh, another thing is, niya, kaya ngayon hindi na oxygen mula nung nagbago yung ihip ng hangin. So, this is really nice. Oxygen, O-K-C-Gen, which is, Jen daw is the, the name of Manda's wife. I don't know if this one's true. And the way it was, uh, you know, yung, yung pagka-slant ng delivery, yung oxygen, 
okay si Jen sa oxygen mula kaya ngayon hindi na oxygen mula nung nagbago yung ihip ng hangin so like man you get it already right kasi ihip ng iba-iba naman talaga yan right like uh, oxygen carbon monoxide carbon dioxide uh, the diba? and all that stuff I'm, I'm not really good at that at those pero we get it simula nagbago yung ihip ng hangin it's also a term used by the filipinos na medyo nagbago yung sitwasyon something changes right nagbago yung ihip ng hangin tapos oxygen hindi na okay si Jen oxygen man pff, creative tapos sabi niya dito yan ganyan ang gina and this one is to me like phew, this is a knockout punch for me I, I don't know guys but I don't know with you but to me this is a solid knockout punch because the way it was freaking set up this punchline sabi niya yan ang ginagawa niya walang kwentang technique par nande distract kasi foul dun lang siya nakaka-technical man I don't know if this is a fake choke or this is just batang rebelde being super freaking sharp on his lyricism I don't know either or man it worked it is amazing everybody was like what to me this is the biggest punch of the entire round I mean the entire battle to me honestly I can think of something better than you know why because the way it was set up I don't know if it was I don't know if he really Choke? Because I've, I've been telling you, diba? um Since first round, I think Patang Rebelde is some kind of like forgetting his lines because he's a little shaky. The way he's delivering it, the way in sa Ghetto Dogs pa lang, diba? Punch line siya, Gera Pata, in Ghetto Dogs. Na, ah, ano nga ulit yun? Ah, so to me, like, I think he, he's a little shaky. I think he's he he's not as flawless because he's forgetting his lines. But on this one, I don't know if this one's a fake choke or Patang Rebelde is just so, so sharp. No, si nagkikilos si ano eh, si Manda eh. Sabi niya, yung ginagawa niya physical, nirebat ko ng nirekal. Lirekal, ganun ako kagaling brother, para kang nag-shopping na di tinitignan yung presyo, kaya nagulat sa counter. Double meaning of course yung counter, counter punch, and yung cashier's counter. Double meaning. So, like man, this to me is amazing. Amazing. Ganyan yung gina- And then, he chose to end it. So, I really do not know. Is it a fake choke? Because he said, "Yeah, get on out, get get in." Ah, yung ginagawa mo yung physical, nerebat ko ng lyrical. So I don't know if this is a fake choke or this is a, you know BR just being sharp or uh, and being on point. But either or, man, this is super super good. The delivery is better. I think this is. I think the second round is the strong. I mean, the, the strongest as an overall package of the round. But I think this has the best, best. I know uh, a punchline or uh, the entire rounds of of BR or even the entire battle. Because at the way the situation, talagang everything lined up. Your situation, your timing, and then how Manda reacted, and then bam, amazing. And he chose to end it on this one. So very strong closer. And I. I And I, I am telling you, man, this this line right there shook Manda. Why so? If you look at Manda's first, I um, mean, third round, the opening of it, the opening of third round ni Manda. You know, he felt it because makikita mo si Manda. He started off high energy, knowing he knows that BR took that round, that third round. He's jumping up and down and trying to steal. The thunder, you know, he's jumping up and down. You can really see the overflowing energy. Na up, na naramdaman, makikita mo. Even in the video, you can see na, whoo, naramdaman ni man dayon. And he 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 immediately jump off. Na he's trying to steal off the thunder from from uh, BR. Yung line niya, kasi dun kin lost ni BR. Eh. If that is you know on the spot, that I I I have made mention of this second round palang yung self awareness ni BR is amazing kasi kung on the spot na rebattle yon on the spot yon he knows it is a perfect way to close it out he already know na i cannot stop this etong line na to kasi nga everything aligns so i end ko na dito that is very 
quick thinking. That is a very sharp thinking that you have to be very, very present on the mo- uh, at the moment and you have to have level of experience. Because some other MCs, pag nakita lang, oh, nag-land yun on the spot, they they tend to double down on that, which is a good thing. Naman, di ba? Kaya naman tayo, when we feel like, oh, tumama tayo sa blast, ah, ba, 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 we try to tend to, to like double down and mas higitan pa, ending na i-stretch, ending na da-drag lang lalo. And yung mga sasabihin natin na susunod, wala naman na talagang kwenta or it will not be as equally good yung sinabi mo na yun. Right? Sometimes it's just better to close it that way. At I believe na naramdaman ni BR yun na idadrag ko lang, i-extend ko lang, i-stretch ko lang na pag tinry ko pang mag-double down dito sa moment na to, I'd rather leave it there. At least I leave, I left my round at such a high note. And that is level of presence, man. Amazing. I mean, good job talaga kay BR on that decision. He was so quick in his, he was so fast on that. Now, um, Banda started out, he's, energy. Makita mo talagang magaling ganun siya. And first, sa second round, wala naman eh. Knowing na si BR naman talaga yung nauuna dun sa battle, si Manda, chill nga lang siya eh. One and two, di ba? But nung third round, nakita mo, oops, he felt it na I have to steal this because, you know, Batang de Verde really got this round. And that that's what he did. Now, showmanship is still there. Yung yung passion niya nandun, talagang high energy third round ni Manda. Angles, rebuttal, height jokes, gym jokes, and personals. Diba? Yung tinira niya kay BR. And then yung lines niya for me na nag-land on that uh, third round is yung, yung pag-gym mo, masyado mong feel na feel. Gang, gangsta na, nag-zumba. Are you for real? So double meaning sa, diba? Are you for real na? Are you a real G? Are you a real gangsta? And are you really serious na? Alam ko, kinakarar mo yung pag-gym. Eh, ba't zumba yung ginagawa? Alam ko, kinakarar mo yung pag-gym. At least try something harder. Like, at least... Uh, uh, I mean, devote yourself bodybuilding, being a physique athlete, or do a CrossFit, MMA, you know, uh, whatever, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, whatever, right? But Zumba, kasi sabi niya, yung pag jiu mo, masyado mong feel na feel. So, kinakarir mo. Tapos, gangster nag zumba Are you for real? So, double meaning siya na, may gangster ba nag zumba At saka, seryoso ka ba talagang devoted ka sa pag jiu mo? Kasi ba't Zumba, di ba? You could try something more, you know, um, more uh, physically taxing and physically challenging, diba? For for a better result than Zumba, right? Mesquiga, like you, watching right there. If you're trying to, to, to get a, a Greek god physique, for sure, Zumba is at the bottom of your list, right? When you're trying to, like, lose, when you're trying to, like, gain guns and muscles and, like, be, like, solid and all, looking like a real, you know, Zeus like Greek god physique man you would try a lot of things especially uh, especially uh, physical training but I don't think Zumba is at the top of your list I just don't it's just me I don't know with you and then following um lines uh for a second line that I'd like from Amanda sa niya patay to sa akin gamit ang barang nakaagulat na parang si Tito umakyat sa kwarto ni Pamangkin <laughs> Nah, uh, to I thought because this is a good comeback line from the Akita joke naman ni BR. Diba yung Akata ito naman, uh, Tito Badang. Uh, so yeah, I, I like it. I like it. And this to me is the the best punch of Manda. And the last bar or last line that I like from Manda's third round, ito yung sabi niya, yung nunal mong parang permanenteng kulangot, sabi ng nanay mo, swerte daw yan. Naniniwala ka naman. Yayaman ka daw dyan na parang nanalo sa sugal, kaya hindi ka na nagtrabaho, umasa na lang sa nunal. So, that is so freaking creative. Na, it, it is so funny. It's creative, it's funny, and it's on point, right? Na, straight up, nakakatawa talaga siya. So, yung delivery ni, 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 ni Manda, very flawless performance hindi na lalay i think uh i don't know i think the second i don't i think it's just the same energy or the same as second and third round ni manda whereas si to me kay 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 br pinakamahina niya yung first round pinakamalakas si second and pangalawang pinakamalakas is yung mid is yung kanyang third round but again it has the biggest punch now Wow, with that 
being said, hmm, I'm gonna have to go um BR on this one. Two and three. Two and three. Um if we're gonna go with punchline counts, creativity and create punchline counts to me, I'm gonna have to go with BR. Why do I have to go with BR? Eh, para mas maraming punchline si Manda, King, ha? or Teresa. But, bakit you go with BR? Manda yung mas maraming punchlines. Eh, pinakinggan namin. Here's my thing. Manda's punchlines are, most of it are generic. Alright? So, that's why I'm only listing yung is, battle is specific. Right? Kasi most of Manda's, just as I've mentioned, most of Manda's lines are really generic. Kagaya itong pinakamaganda niyang line, yung sa nunal, you can use that against any battler na may nunal. Right? While yung kay, kay BR, you cannot use it. Yung yung mga lines niya na kagaya nung ano, yung kay Ram, sundutan ng tumbong, walang connect, kaya pinilit lang ipasok. Right? do meron yung uh, eh, eh, paano yung pagsasalsal, eh, pagsasalsal na gano'n, tsaka yung climax. Well, that actually comes from a line of Manda Baliw na sabi niya kay, um, kay Bagsik tuturuan daw mag-masturbate. So, it still makes sense. Right? Kasi part yun eh, nung style, nung, nung line ni Manda against, ano eh, kay, kay Bagsik na binalik lang ni BR. So, to me, mas, mas direct, mas specific yung mga lines ni BR than Manda Baleo. Though, mas marami talagang punches na nag si Manda, but yung, yung most of it are generic and it does not really pack, you know, so much punch. Though, I will have to give this, you know, um, this, this one a month. If you're looking at overall package of performance, man, Manda really did very well over Batang Rebelda. But, Batang Rebelda's overall performance, I'll give it 8 over 8 over 10. Nasasalba na lang siya ng kanyang sharpness and ng kanyang, kanyang experience on this. Manda's performance, 10 out of 10. Why? Because it was very flawless. He was very flawless. The very first round to the very third round, everything is just smooth, right? So he, Manda is more passionate. Um, he He's more of, I'm out there to kill. I'm out there to win, you know? But most of it is more of a slapstick comedy and generic bars, uh, generic jokes. Beer is a little more laid back. He's a little more chill. He's not really there, you know. The, you can feel that he's not really taking it seriously because you can really see that he's playing around. Because every time Batang Rebel jokes, uh, Br jokes, okay, no, nakakatawa, Manda is not really laughing at all. He's like really like out there about to kill waiting for his run. Every time Manda throws something good, even if it's not really, you know, um, battle is specific, even if it's generic, Batang Rebel just enjoying himself. He's laughing at every joke Manda threw out. He's just, you know, being there, you know, he's just enjoying it. That's the difference, I would say. So I think if you're looking at, like, who 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 do you think wants it more to win, Manda Baleo is that. Easy. The performance sh- shows it all. The vibe shows it all. First round to third round, he's flawless. He's more gigil. He's more passionate. He's more battle ready. Whereas Batang Rebelda is more laid back, more chill. He's just enjoying it. So personally, if I'm just going to judge, this is just me, okay? I'm not saying that they got the ruling wrong, whatever. But if, just my personal um, take on this, if I'm going to base it with my own category, and to tell you my own category is, my, my category is the showmanship, angles, lyricism, delivery, and total performance. I'm going to have to give yung, yung battle kay Batang Rebelde, BR. Kasi very close siya. Yung delivery, okay, mas flawless yung delivery ni Manda, pero mas marami ginagawa si BR. nag speed up siya, nagma-multi siya, right? Mas flawless nga yung kay Manda, pero mas marami ginagawa si BR. So that, okay na, okay na yun. A little shaky, see, BR, yes. But he's doing speed rap, he's doing multi. Yung, yung showmanship, parehas naman sila. May mga action sila, may mga water break, may ganun. Then si Manda din, may ganun. So equal na rin doon. Angles, halos parehas lang din sila. Yung total performance is, again, if you're looking for more passionate, who's more out there to win, Manda Baliw 
if if you're a guy. But if you're out there to look at the pure talent and you know lyricism and all that, BR for me wins that. And to me personally, if I'm going to just use my own categories winning this, I'm gonna have to go with BR this this one. I'm gonna have. But let's go with uh, how how it went and hear the judges explain their sides. Ang boto ng hurado, 3-2, magigay para kay Manda Baliw. <laughs> you, see, you see Manda's reaction, he really didn't expect that he, he'd win. Uh, maybe because I'm not saying, maybe he's just being too humble, or maybe he just really felt that that third round, you know, could knock him out. Again, I told you the first, I mean, the, the beginning of his third round, he was really out there and all that. 3-2, it's a close one, I told you. So, let's go, let's see how... The, does the judges explain this? Shout out to Kubu 639 Yanko Big Sleek Clothing by Tata Alex. Round 1, Ren. So, uh, ayun, round 1 tsaka round 2, uh, Manda Baliw ako. Uh, maganda yung uh, pinakita niya, hindi nasabayan ng joke ni BR. Pero yung round 3 ni BR, uh, para sa akin sobrang solid yun. Uh, pero hindi pa rin na, na tapatan yung dalawang round na nakuha ni Manda. So, Manda Baliw. Yun, uh, binoto ko si Manda Baliw. Siguro round 1, 2, Manda Baliw, round 3. Sobrang dikit pero lamang ng konti si BR sa round 3. Para sa akin, ano eh, uh, kung punchline count, sa punchline count ko binasi. Mas maraming punches si Manda, tsaka mas, ano eh, uh, kumbaga yung punchlines niya. Mas marami siyang punchlines, punch tapos mas ano pa, naglanding agad. Si, si BR kasi medyo mahaba yung feeders. Okay naman yung punchline, pero yun, medyo... Umasa siya masyado sa fillers, kaya mas nanaig si Manda talaga kung dating, kung pagdating sa punch games. Manda pa yun. Emmer Industria, uh, one and two, binoto ko Manda Baliw sa three. Ang, ang ganda ng ginawa ni Patang Rebelde dun eh. Yung ano, yung kung paano siya nag-react, kung paano siya, kung paano niya na-rebat yung ginagawa ni Manda Baliw. Para sa akin tabla yun, 1 and 2, 1. Manda Baliw, mas, mas, uh, mas, mas nagawa niya yung karakter niya na mas epektibo para sa akin. Pati yung mga sulat niya kung paano lumalaan din. Tapos kung paano niya dinuduktong. Ulit sa panibago na namang konsepto. Perhaps kay Batang Rebelde, Manda Baliw yun. 1 and 2. Hindi ako mas fit. Binoto ko si Batang Rebelde. Round 1, inyan ako nalang tabla sila. Tapos sa round 2, uh, bibigay ko sana kay Manda Baliw. Kaya lang, ano yung uh, round 2 niya kasi lumalaylay, tas baba yung energy niya. Kaya kay BR kasi sakto lang, parang pabwela sa round 3. Tapos yung round 3 naging exciting factor sa akin. Dahil ang hirap ng ginawa ni BR, paano ako ng rebattles, hindi to bias, pero sobrang hirap ng men. Yung in front to, uh, parang hindi natin alam kung setup talaga yon So ayun na nga, parang ayun na rin yung gagawin, yung... Kasama sa runs ni BR, di ko alam kung ngayon talaga, pero na nataon, sumakto pa. Sobrang hirap nun. Tapos, naitawid niya pa sa pinaka malakas na ender. Kaya, kay Manda, sobrang solid yung lap trip pa rin. Pero, ang inano ko dito, yung yung consistency ng banat. Although, nakaka ano, si Manda ba nun, ng 1 to 1 to, pero, yung buong round ni BR, sobrang linis, tapos panapos din talaga. Pero, congrats pa rin. Batang revenge. Yung uh, GLing Action, uh, binoto ko, Batang Rebelde. Round 1, binigay ko kay Manda, uh, mas malinis. Parang nahabaan ako sa line marking na ginawa ni BR. Parang sayang sa oras. Pero round 2, binigay ko kay BR. Sa dami ng suntok, uh, rhyme schemes, yung mga freestyle niya, yung tungkol kay Pagsik. Uh, round 3, binigay ko kay BR. Dahil sa yun, freestyle ability, tsaka medyo nabitin ako sa rounds ni Manda. So yun, 2 rounds BR, Manda. So, Batang Rebelde. All right, so yeah, officially, Manda won this one, and I agree on that. So, man, things that I missed out, things that you think that is very important in this battle, put it in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I did. Thanks so much, y'all, for watching. Love y'all. See you in the next review. Love you. Mm -hmm.